Welcome, Gothamites and YouTubers, to my review of Superman Batman Apocalypse. And let me just say, oh my god, this was the best DC animated movie I've seen in a long time. Well, aside from Batman Under the Red Hood, of course. See, this huge meteor comes crashing out of space and lands smack into Gotham's lake. So then, naturally, Batman is on the case. And he's got a bat sub too, because he's Batman, and Batman always has everything. Then, turns out the meteor had this super-powered girl who's naked and she beats people up. And she's played by that crazy girl from Firefly. This is like the third time Summer Cloud gets naked and beats people up all in the same role, isn't it? Anyway, Batman corners her with a big chunk of kryptonite, and he's all like... No more property damage in the nude for you, young lady. So then the kryptonite makes her fall asleep, and then Batman is all like... I'm Batman. So then, he's got her in the Batcave, but then she wakes up and blows up the Batcomputer, but then SUPERMAN arrives! And then he and the girl have this crazy little conversation. Blah 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 Then Superman translates it all into English, and then he's like, This is my cousin Kara! And then Batman, of course, is all like, I don't care if she is your cousin Clark, I just installed Call of Duty 4 on that computer. Don't worry, I'll pay for it with my reporter's salary. Yes, and with that crappy paycheck you'll be spending the rest of your life paying it off. But then the evil dark side finds out about Kara, and then has her captured. But then, it's not too late, because Wonder Woman rescues her. So then, they take her to Wonder Woman's island, Themyscira, where they train Kara to use her powers better. <laughs> but then, the Amazons and the fighting gets really, really rough on her. The Amazon is all like, give up? And then Superman, he's all, stop this or I'll break your wrist. And then Kara is all like, stop controlling my life. Yeah, typical teen drama except with superpowers. All of a sudden, big, nasty, and surprisingly easy to kill doomsday clones attack. So then Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and a horde of Amazons fight them off. It's like something out of 300, except with superheroes, and a lot less gratuitous slow motion. This is DC! So in the meanwhile, Darkseid captures Kara, and takes her to a prison where he's all like, Come to the dark side, Kara. Okay. So our heroes meet up with this lady, who apparently used to work for Darkseid. And then they go to Apocalypse, and Superman discovers that Kara has turned evil, and now she dresses like a whore. Because when you're evil and you're female, you always have to dress like a complete whore. Just ask Ivy or Harley or Catwoman. It's comic book law. So, while a crazy beatdown between Superman and Kara goes on, Batman shows up! And then he faces down Darkseid, because he's that awesome. And then he's all... Let Kara go now. And if I refuse... Then I hack into your whole bomb supply and blow up your planet. How the hell did you do that? I'm Batman. Okay, fine. Whatever. She goes. So then they leave Apocalypse and go back home. And Superman takes Kara to Smallville to be with his parents on the farm. You can live on the farm. No one will bother you anymore. It's nice and quiet here. Good, because I broke a nail! So oh, it all ends, and they live happily ever after. Or do they? Boom! Darkseid's back, and he's all like... I changed my mind. I'm going to kill both your asses. <laughs> so he's zapping them with his Omega Beams, and then it's all like... I kills you! I kill you first. Smackdown! But then Kara messes with Darkseid's teleportation device and banishes him into deep space. Hooray! World is saved, but the farmhouse and the barn not so much. Yeah, a lot of rebuild. To the nearest lows! So then they go back to Themyscira, and then Kara's all like... I changed my mind, I want to be a superhero too! And then Superman's all... Cool beans, Kara! And then the impossible happens. Batman smiles! That is Superman Batman Apocalypse in a nutshell. The end. No, I'm not doing it.